Today I have for you two very disturbing cases of very different serial killers in China. So sit back and enjoy. Today we're going to be looking at a man known as the Monster Killer. Yang Zhenhai was a Chinese citizen that decided to go on a murdering spree. Let's look into his motives and how it ended. Yang Zhenhai, also known as Yang Ziha and Yang Lu, was a Chinese serial killer who confessed to committing 67 murders and 23 rapes between 1999 and 2003 and was sentenced to death and executed for 67 murders. He was dubbed the Monster Killer by the media. He is the most prolific known serial killer China has ever seen since the establishment of the People's Republic of China in 1949. Biography Yang was born on July 29, 1968 in Zhengyang County, Henan. His family was one of the poorest in their village. The youngest of four children, Yang was clever and introverted. He dropped out of school in 1985 at the age of 17 and refused to return home, instead traveling around China and working as a laborer. Crimes in 1988 and 1991, Yang was sentenced to labor camps for theft in Zihan, Shanex, and Shizahan, Hebi. In 1996, he was sentenced to five years in prison for attempted rape in Zumadien, Henan, and released in 1999. Yang's killings took place between 1999 and 2003 in the provinces of Anu, Hebei, Henan, and Shidong. At night, he would enter his victims' homes and kill all the occupants, mainly farmers, with axes, hammers, and shovels, sometimes killing entire families. Each time, he wore new clothes and large shoes. In October 2002, Yang killed a father and a six-year-old girl with a shovel and raped a pregnant woman who survived the attack with serious head injuries. Arrest, Trial, and Execution Yang was detained on November 3, 2003 after acting suspiciously during a routine police inspection of entertainment venues in Kangzhou, Hebei. Police took him in for questioning and discovered that he was wanted for murder in four provinces. As news of his arrest and crime spread, the media dubbed him the Monster Killer. Shortly after he was arrested, Yang confessed to 65 murders, 23 rapes, and 5 attacks, causing serious injury. 49 murders, 17 rapes, and 5 attacks in Henan, 8 murders and 3 rapes in Hebei, 6 murders and 2 rapes in Anhu, and 2 murders and 1 rape in Shandong. Police also matched his DNA with that found at several crime scenes. Later, it was discovered that Yang contracted HIV from one of his victims. On the 1st of February 2004, Yang was found guilty of all 67 murders and 23 rapes and sentenced to death in Luhu City, Intermediate People's Court, Henan. At the time of his sentencing, official Chinese media believed he had carried out China's longest and grisliest killing spree. Yang was executed on the 14th of February 2004 by firing squad. Motive According to some media reports at the time of his arrest, Yang's motive for the killings was revenge against society as a result of a breakup. Allegedly, his girlfriend had left him because of his previous sentences for theft and rape. 
Later media reports claim that his enjoyment of robbery, rape, and murder was the real motive. While Yang never formally provided a motive, he is quoted as saying, When I killed people, I had a desire. This inspired me to kill more. I don't know whether they deserve to live or not. It is none of my concern. I have no desire to be part of society. Society is not my concern. Let's also look into another Chinese serial killer who spent 20 years on the run before being captured. A Chinese female serial killer who killed seven people, including a three-year-old girl, has finally been arrested after evading authorities for 20 years. Lao Rongzi, the 45-year-old suspect, has been on the run from the authorities for over two decades. She had been living under a false identity since her escape after her boyfriend, Fa Zing, was arrested in Haifa, a new province, China, in July 1999. Lao was arrested in a shopping center where she works selling watches in Xiamen, Fujian province, as part of Operation Cloud Sword, a national operation targeting fraudsters and fugitives, the police said on Friday. However, Authorities did not elaborate on how they managed to find her. The suspect, who previously worked as a primary school teacher, was only 19 when she first met Fa. Her boyfriend had already served eight years in jail for armed robbery. She soon left her job as a teacher and was accused of committing a series of crimes over a span of three years. Lau posed as a prostitute and lured their first target, a man with the surname of Xiong, to an address in Nanchang in Xi'an province in 1996, the police said. They then robbed him of his jewelry and forced him to reveal his address before killing the man. After learning of his home address, Lao and Fa went on to kill the man's wife and three-year-old daughter before getting away with 200,000 yuan, which is the equivalent of about $28,000 in American money. Lao and Fa were then accused of kidnapping, stealing, and killing two prostitutes the following year. Then, in 1999, the couple moved to Hafai, a new province where two more people were killed. They built a cage where they kept their victim, named Yin, and held him for ransom. They then tripped a carpenter into visiting the property. Lao and Fa killed the man in front of Yin to intimidate and forced him to hand over 300,000 yuan, $42,000 American money of ransom money. The couple were successful in their intimidation and when Fa was about to collect the money from Yin's wife, she was able to contact the police and had Fa cornered. He was wounded in the thigh during a shootout and was arrested. However, Yin was already dead and Lao managed to cover her tracks and escape. Speaking to the Chongqing Morning Post on Sunday, Fa's defense lawyer, Yu Zi, said his refusal to cooperate and his cover-up provided time for Lao to escape. Yu said that his client always killed his victims, but the only time he felt like he was committing a sin was when he killed a three-year-old girl. He told me his best ending would be to go straight from the crime scene to the execution site. You said, when Fa refused to accept any defense during his trial, he eventually confessed to kidnapping and killing seven people and was executed in December 1999 at the age of 35. Meanwhile, Lao was transferred to custody in Nanshan the first site where they killed three people. She was expected to go on trial there. 
Puisen Zaimin, said that Lao had been transferred to custody in Nanshan, the site of the first three killings, and was expected to go on trial there. Now, weirdly enough, this is where the last information that I could find on this case was. I don't know what happened to her after her trial or if it even happened, because I can't find a source that has any information at all. But seeing how China has handled its serial killer problem so far, it can be expected that Lao is either most likely dead or in prison waiting to be killed. I hope that you've enjoyed these two gruesome cases, and although they may be disturbing, remember that at least you can sleep soundly knowing that they've both been caught and are not around today to roam freely.